What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna... What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner, just for you guys. So we're here every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC, to help you guys out with tips, tricks, and things that are gonna help enhance your relationship and take it to hopefully a better place, right? That Mount Olympus of love. <laughs> I like that. And respect and communication, right? So, all right, this week we're gonna cover something that I think most of all families are participating in, or majority, or maybe a little bit, I guess. The majority of the population. Majority of the population, okay. I think, right? Yeah. So, if you guys don't know what the holiday is here in November. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, right? That's it! And we're, we're a couple days early. We know Thanksgiving is next week. Um, but if we did it next week We'd on our say, Sunday. We'd have to say, happy post-Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we're tr we're, yeah, we're trying to be, you know, trying to be on point here and, and be beforehand <laughs> for you guys. Um, so Thanksgiving's coming up. So happy Thanksgiving or happy early Thanksgiving from us to you guys and all your family. Um, so Thanksgiving, it's, it's used to be a big holiday. Um, I think nowadays it's a little different how things are um, after COVID and after the last couple of years but Thanksgiving should have great meaning to you and not what happened before in the past and all this stuff that people are trying to turn every which way but it should be what you're thankful for right and Thanksgiving should be a time where you're getting together with all your loved ones family if you can do that friends um, and enjoy and be thankful for everything that God has given you or you've gotten in life. Mm -hmm. um, everything from the food that you're eating, and that's the main thing that we should be focused on because um, it's breaking bread with, with different people um, and enjoying their company. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of how it goes back to the early days of why Thanksgiving was invented was because... Be thankful. Well, you know, you had the pilgrims and you had the Indians that came together. And mm -hmm. they had this big feast, and that's what Thanksgiving kind of came out of. Right? Sounds a history buff. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you know, the Native Americans, obviously, big part of Thanksgiving. Pilgrims were a big part of Thanksgiving. My ancestors don't come from the pilgrims. Um, they were in Greece somewhere at that time. I have no idea what they were doing, but there were mountains doing something, probably with some goats or sheep, you know, <laughs> something out there. I have no idea. Who knows? But, um, you know, so it's just a little different. But, listen, we all celebrate this as American holiday, or we did. And uh, hopefully we keep continuing doing this. Um, it's a tradition. And traditions that have been going on for this long, I think we should look at them. But hey, listen, this is, this is meaningful. But Thanksgiving should be for getting together, like I said, and enjoying all those great foods that you want to eat. All the good stuff. Turkey! So, what are you guys going to eat for Thanksgiving? I can, what, do you, what do you think we're going to eat? That, that, that's another question. What, well, what it just want? really depends. Yeah. So we've gradually come step down <laughs> step down step down it's from really step it up. i'm sorry but like we you know it's, it's throughout the years you know um you know the families kind of like have separated into different areas yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know that they, they got other stuff going on because we used to i guess a lot a while ago yeah we used to get like everybody together yeah. you know we, because we had divorced parents we were go hopping from house to house to house yeah. that was always a joy yeah. Um, for Thanksgiving, <laughs> four plates of food. Hey, at least we had to we had to we got to say our prayers four times that day. That Thank was good. Yeah. That was good. I'll take that. Um, but it it really is just you know outside of the awesome food that you get to eat because we get to eat like you know usual things is our turkey, mashed potatoes, corn, usually some rolls, ham. Now, I have been getting my stuff from honey baked ham. Shh. I thought you were cooking that, Sharice. <laughs> and what you, um, you told me you were downstairs the night before, and you had to. I was taking a nap on the couch, so just trying to catch up on a little sleep. You know, honey baked ham. Don't lie to you. <laughs> hey, listen, honey baked ham. They rock that ham, though. Come on now, all you gotta do is heat it up for fifteen minutes in the oven. You got like, you can't beat that. Can't beat that. This right? is crazy. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it truly is outside of, you know, breaking bread per se and, you know, eating good food and spending good time with good company, family. There's a lot of times, you know, for families to get together, regardless of your, you know, differences or whatever you guys have, you guys put it, you put it to the side for one day yeah. just so that you guys can all be together and, you know, be thankful for whatever it is that you're thankful for. Like, yeah. so what are you thankful for? You know, can you ever, do you ever get a chance to sit down and say, what am I thankful for? You know, me personally, you know, after my post COVID situation, you know, John has showed me that I should at least take a moment in the day every day to say what I'm thankful for to God. Right. So I do now I do it every single day religiously, you know, and I do it right in an area where I have to I have to be before I, where I leave the house. So it's going to happen regardless. But what are you thankful for? Your health? Are you thankful for your job? Are you thankful for your kids? Are you thankful for your dog? I mean, what what are you thankful for? You ever think about what you're thankful for and then be thankful for it because nothing in life is guaranteed, right? And I mean, you're not you're not even guaranteed tomorrow, mm -hmm. all right? You mm -hmm. you nothing is guaranteed. Yep. So every day you should be thankful and never take anything for granted. Yep. I mean, yep. right? Yeah, I think it's a big thing, you know. Nowadays, you know, we're about little <laughs> the little things but people treat them as big problems right and when you really look at it in retrospect those big problems are really really little things in the big picture of things so at that point when you're like flipping out because you didn't get something at the store that you wanted like this shirt or whatever well that's really my new comparative do you have your health <laughs> do you have a plate of food that you can be able to eat do you have a roof over your head right um, you know, these are different things out there that really people need to sit back and think about and say, listen, I am really grateful for these things um, because, you know what, there's people out there that don't have these things, um, their health, or they don't have a, you know, they don't have anywhere to eat or they don't have a, a roof mm -hmm. over their head. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's a shame, right? So, you know, these things we need to make sure that we think your higher power, your God, whoever it is, that you have these things. Um, you can, you know, you can take care of your kids, your family, whatever it may be that you're thankful for. But you should have things that you're thankful for. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and if you don't, you really need to, you know, sit back and take a look at things and reevaluate and say, hey, listen, maybe these are some things I should be thankful for. Mm -hmm. um, and families, you know, it's 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 crazy. Uh, listen, every <laughs> get together I had as a kid, we had huge get togethers and everybody would come to our house, whether it was Thanksgiving, Christmas. Um, and you know what? They got along for the most part of it, but there's always like <laughs> always fights, something. right? There's there's always, always so fights. It all, um, it's always something. It doesn't matter. You know, it's always some, just one thing. You, what? You, it always has to end that way. You, you wanna, somebody leaves mad. You, you got to set your differences <laughs> aside. You got to try to, you know, have <laughs> every time as much fun and happiness with those people, you know. And if you have differences with them, whether it's political nowadays, leave it out, uh, guys. Just, just leave don't it out. Agree with the way they're raising their kids, whatever it may be. Listen, put that aside, focus on the positive things, why you guys are thankful, and why you guys are all together. That's a big, big thing out there. There's people out there that don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. right? And this is a, a depressing time for some people like that. So if you know people in that position, you have the extra space or plate, invite them over, you know, at that point, you'll, you'll do wonders for their self-esteem. Um, and you know, they'll feel like they're part of something. I think it's a big thing, um, with family and stuff like that. So if you don't have any family, maybe look to your good friends, maybe your good friends will look to you and say, listen, why don't you come over and enjoy Thanksgiving with us and enjoy this special time of year. Um, I know like things are getting passed over so crazy. So most people just go right to Christmas after Halloween. It's mm -hmm. really, really crazy. Yeah, so, like the Christmas decorations are up on some people's houses already. Yeah. I'm like, it's literally yeah. not even Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, so, I understand you want to get ahead of the uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, of the the Christmas light. Yeah. You want to get the holiday. You wait for those, you know, those presents. Everybody wants a present, spirit. right? <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, like I said, come together, remember what these holidays are for and these traditions are for, um, and look at the positive thing and be close to family as much as possible. You know, you never know how long you got on this earth, whether it's another minute, another hour, or another day, year, etc.
So mm-hmm. at that point, really, really um, take that time, enjoy that time. And listen, if you can't, like, if you really just can't be nice, like, and you know, they always told you, or your mom always said, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all, right? Yeah. So if you really can't, just just take a couple bites of food, just yeah. keep your mouth full the whole time, yeah. right? And you just won't talk. Yeah. It just, it works. Don't overconsume <laughs> on Thanksgiving. I know it's kind of hard because you have all that good food in front of you, or you might go to multiple locations like we used to have to. And you had to before. eat, because if you, you go to their house and you don't oh, eat, it was I, rude. I feel disrespected or rude. How dare you not eat a plate yeah, of food after you, you just ate You don't like three. it? Oh, you don't like my cookie no more? Oh like, my God, no, I don't I like your cookie anymore. This. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, at that point, don't overconsume. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people are worried about, you know, overconsuming or they stop their, their training or activity or diet or whatever it may be because of this. Don't do that. <clears throat> and if you find yourself in that position and you want to lose weight or you want these extra things, don't worry because I know of this other place called Tight Medical Center. Just call them like right after. Yeah, call or text them 727 389 3220. They're yeah. going to help you out with all the weight loss. There's like therapies ECAs out there. and there's something else called like Titan Complete. Prometheus. Prometheus. Yeah. Um, you know, also they do blood work and stuff. I mean, no big deal, whatever. But yeah. Yeah, they, I think they can help after this like if, yeah. like feast of things that you eat and the carb loading. And I think when you call our staff, they might know who we are. So just mention John and Sharice. And they'll give you a great discount. All right, yeah. So (laughs) it'll definitely help you guys. Had to plug it in there for you guys. Because after this, you know, after the holidays, people always complain, oh, I have to lose weight. I gained a ton of weight during the holidays. I I, I feel like I gain weight every day. So don't worry. We got your back here, Titan. But seriously, guys, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your family, your friends. If you don't have any... Find some people to go hang out with. Go to a public place. I mean, I used to do that by myself when I was here by myself. You did? Yeah, like when I was first here, <clears throat> like in 2001. You were somewhere by yourself? <clears throat> what I did in 2001 was my dad was traveling and was doing work. I was still finishing up school. And uh, my mom was up north, right? So I didn't have anybody down here for Thanksgiving. So literally what I did for Thanksgiving was I had a couple buddies that I, I made friends with here. And I have family in Tarpon and stuff like that where I've done that on Thanksgiving here or there. That's but cool. My particular, my first one, I didn't do that. And I had some buddies here or whatever. So literally, we went up to like Blue Martini. Mm. Tons of people out. Tons of people. It, 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 it's crazy how many people don't have somewhere to go on Thanksgiving. Um, and they're on about because they don't want to sit at home and be by themselves. So totally understandable. Listen, go out, be social, be active. You might find somebody out there. You might find your relationship out there. You never know where you're going to find your next partner. Thank you guys for tuning in to our show every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. Guys, DVR this. If you guys aren't home and you guys know you're going to miss it, if not, go over to YouTube, type Medical Center, type that in. Check out our face. Book our Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and you guys check out our new website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. We'll see you guys every Sunday and back next Sunday at 11 a.m. for me and Sharice for Cupid's Corner. See you then. Later, guys. Bye.